Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni and April's with me and we're going to show an add-on to the butterfly back or breathing um, into the width, which is for people with lateral deviations. And all of us, because we're humans and we're walking around and we're putting ourselves into weird places and holding those habitual postures, have lateral deviations. So your client doesn't have to have scoliosis to have a lateral deviation. So you can use this protocol with practically anyone, but then especially for your scoliosis clients, this is going to be really, really valuable. So April doesn't have scoliosis, but what we noticed is that she's a little bit on her right side, right side, she has a little bit of convexity, and on her left side, she's a little bit more closed, and that's her concavity. And so um, what we do here is we bring the smart spine on a diagonal. So the top portion of the smart spine is going to be sort of at the apex of her convexity, and then the bottom diagonal of the smart spine goes onto the concavity. Now what we're doing is we're trying to mobilize the ribs. We're trying to derotate the convex side so that the concave side can open up and that she can actually start to move the sticky ribs on this side. And it's usually on the, the um, concave side, it's because those paraspinal muscles are so tight on that side. And so, especially for someone who does not have scoliosis, that this is something that they have kind of created in a habitual way, this protocol can be a real, real game changer. So, um, and, and also with all of this, if you want to learn more and see the master do this work, then um, Marie Jose Bloom's workshop on our site is something that you just have to get. So, um, so top side is on her convexity, bottom side on her concavity. So she's going to take um, a deep inhale into the weight and the heat. And then on the exhale, I'm going to pull out on the left side. I'm going to lock down the right side and I'm going to rotate, like I'm trying to rotate the right side to the left. And I have this um, right side locked down and I want her to inhale and I want to see her left side open up and then exhale. Good. And again, inhale, left side open up. Beautiful. And exhale. It's like a bellows. And one more time, deep inhale, opening up that left side and exhale and relax for a second. And then I'm going to take it off and I'm going to ask her to take a deep inhale and still think about opening <laughs> through that left side. Nice. And exhale. Good. And one more time, thinking about opening through that left side. And long, deep exhale. So, one time sometimes is not enough. So I'm seeing, oh, I can create a little bit more. So I'm going to do it a second time. And especially when you're practicing, and when you have a new body that you're doing this on, you might have to, to do it a couple of times. Again, you want the client to tell you if it's uncomfortable or you're using too much pressure. So she's going to breathe into the heat, inhale, and then on the exhale, we're going to rotate, and I'm going to pull this out on the left. So I have these right ribs locked down. So she's going to inhale, and I want her to really breathe and open up those sticky ribs on the left side. Exhale. Good. And again, inhale, opening up those left sticky ribs, making room for the kidneys, and exhale. Great. And then I'll take that away and then breathe into your left side again. Oh, much better. Much better. Because what I'm seeing now is I'm seeing actually what's above the sticky place start to move also. So take another deep inhale again. Yeah, so we have a rippling, like we have a breathing wave on this left side, which she didn't have before. Great. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.